Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you a very, very cool card trick. Um, this is going to be slightly based off of the Magician and Gambler routine uh, by Harry Lorraine. So the ending, uh, the ending effect is a little bit different, but the technique is very, very similar. So before I begin, I just want to ask you guys really quickly if you guys can just like the video down below and it will help me tremendously uh, make other videos for you guys as well. So assuming you guys have all hit the like button, I'm going to go ahead and show you this uh, performance. Alright, so before we start it off, I just want to show you guys there is a prediction inside uh, the box. It's one piece of paper, it's folded up. Alright, so there's a prediction inside the box and what we're going to do is from this pack, right, I'm going to go ahead and have you just go ahead and just cut the deck in half wherever you like. Alright, so let's say you were to cut the deck right here. Now, from a shuffled pack of cards, okay, I had you pick up roughly about half the deck and you happen to stop me at, you know, one of these cards down here. So if I pick up the pack, show you the card that you stopped me at happened to be the two of spades, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to put the two underneath your hand, okay, you can put the two, pretend that your hand is over there and you're holding on to that, to that card, right? So at this point what we're going to do is we're going to try to do the same exact thing where we find another card from the deck. Right? So let's say we mix up the deck a little bit more. And what we're going to end up doing is we can do the same exact thing. Go ahead, just cut anywhere you want to from the middle of the pile. We'll go ahead and mark your cut just to let you know there's no way we can change the card you cut to from a shuffled pack. Okay, so make sure you hold on to this card for now. What we'll do is again, we'll look at the card that you happen to stop us at. In this case, you stopped us at the seven of diamonds, right? So I'll leave it over here. Now, Bear in mind that before the trick even started, okay, I did have a prediction laid off to the side. Okay, before we even started from a shuffled pack, you cut wherever you want to. And what's going to happen is when I take out the prediction, as you can see, I'm going to show you guys the prediction here on the camera. You guys happen to choose a two and a seven, right? But I wrote two pairs of numbers in this case, a two and a seven and an eight and a five. So I've technically made two different predictions, and as you guys can see, as I light the match, your first prediction vanishes, and we're left with an 8 and a 5, right? So if I come back, you guys can see that you've also selected the 8 and the 5. So if you guys want to learn how to do this, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright, so here's how you guys are going to be able to do the trick, right? So the first thing you're going to need right off the bat is this, it's called a, uh, a friction pen, so I'll leave the um, link for this down below for the Amazon, you guys can buy it. Now, if you do, it will support the channel, which will be awesome, but if not, you can do whatever you want. Essentially, you just buy this pen and it's erasable ink, so whatever you write on, and it's, in this case, let's say we just write on this paper, you scribble it. Because the ink is erasable with the cap here, okay, so it's erasable, you can take a lighter, okay, and any heat that is applied to it, the moment you apply heat to the ink, it's going to disappear. Alright, so it's not even meant to be a magic thing, it just happens to be so. So get your pen, get a lighter, and a piece of paper, and then obviously your deck of cards, and that's all you're going to need. So before you start out the trick, you, what you do is you take any two pair of numbers, alright? So in this case we have one written with just a regular pen, and then we have another pair written with the friction pen. So just write out four numbers of the deck and put them on, so in this case We'll do again two and seven. All right, so two and seven, eight and five written on here. Now, just keep in track, uh, keep track of which cards, which numbers you're going to write with the erasable pen, right? So in this case, we have eight, seven, and two and five, right? Just two completely, completely random cards. What you're going to end up doing is pairing up. So you have two, seven. You'll pair each with one, right? So we have two. We'll do two, to keep these things easier, we'll do two with the eight, five with the seven. And what you want to do is the, the uh, card written in the erasable ink, so in this case the green, okay, two and seven, you want the two to be up front as well as the seven. So when you place these, the one with the erasable ink, you have a pair, and you look at it, and if you flip it over, the one you should be looking at is one of the cards written with the erasable ink, so in this case the seven, and then you have the second pair the two and the eight, and when you flip it over, it should be the green ink card in number two, okay? So that's how it works. You have your two pairs, and you have it on top of the deck. So you have eight, two, five, seven, and from there, the setup is ready to go. Okay, so from this point, um, you have your 
stack deck and you have the prediction all set aside and you have everything else, you don't have this pen near you because you don't want the spectator to see that. You have your prediction just in your box, in your pocket, or you can have the spectator hold on to it, whatever you want to do. And at this point, you just do a couple shuffles where you keep the top stock of the deck. So you mix up the cards without mixing up the other cards. And then the next thing you do is you just have the spectators truly cut the deck and you just force them. So they cut off the top half of the deck like this. You take the bottom half, twist it, put it on top, and the top card is still right there. All right? And you kind of misdirect them and tell them, look, you know, you made a prediction, you shuffle the deck, you cut the deck wherever you wanted to, and let's see where you cut to. You take the top pile off, and this is now the top half of the deck. With all four cards are going to be on top, okay? The next thing you do is you do a double lift, and you flip over the cards, you show the spectator, okay, wow, so you happen to pick, you know, you do your double lift, pick over the two of diamonds, okay? So go ahead, hold on to that for me, and then what you're gonna do is have the spectator either put their palms on the table, because you don't want them to flip over the card and realize you're giving them an eight, all right? So then, from here you say, okay, so you pick the two of diamonds, let's keep going. You'll put the top half of the deck back on here, so now you're left with three cards that are supposed to be here, but now you have the two on top of the deck. All you have to do is a double undercut to get rid of it. So you push over the top card, grab a pinky break, okay, and you come over with the thumb break like this. And I'll actually I'll leave a link to the double undercut so you guys can see that. I'm not going to teach the whole thing, but essentially you do a double undercut. That moves the card to the bottom, leaves the other. Yeah, we only have the other two cards on top now. And then you have to do the next uh, part of the trick. All right, so we've gotten rid of the two, and then you have the spectators. You can have them do the same thing where they cut the cards and they, you know, they cut the deck again and they put this on top of the other pile. All right, so from here, you, you know, you kind of misdirect them and say, look, right, so again, right, so you picked a random card at first. We're gonna try and do the same exact thing. We mix up the deck a little bit more. There's no possible way that I could have, you know, somehow known what your card's gonna be, right? So you do a double lift. In this case, it's gonna be the seven of clubs. You give them the seven of clubs, which in reality is the other card. And now the you know seven club is still here. So now the deck, all you can do is maybe cut the deck up a little bit, get rid of any you know anything fishy. That way, if they look for the other two and the seven, it's not directly on top of the deck. At this point, you have these two cards. All right, the spectators haven't seen them, and from here you say, look. So I made a prediction before we even started the trick, and I happened to predict that you would pick a two and a seven. All right, but I also happened to predict that you might pick the eight in the five, but you know, I told you I'm only gonna predict two cards at a time at this point. So let's say, let's get rid of your other predictions. So as you guys can see, you just light up the number and it magically vanishes, leaving you with a nice clean eight and a five. And just like that, the other cards are going to be there. So if you guys wanna support the channel, don't forget to click the link down below and like the video. Um, and if you guys wanna see more, con or more content like this, don't forget to comment below. And as always guys, thanks for watching.